Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we have a, uh, a geomagnetic storm watch is in effect right now because uh, according to NOAA, forecasters say there is a 80% chance of a, uh, a, a polar geomagnetic storm to happen today, August 4th. Because the solar wind streams expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field. Now, I've just checked the speed of the sun's, of the solar winds. Yesterday, they were running about 390. Today, right now, 724 kilometers per second. It is an insane speed. That means a ton of pressure. CMEs are, and because the sun just rotated up toward us now with this gaping hole in the sun's atmosphere, we're being inundated as we speak by CMEs, building pressure up on the earth. You can expect a high earthquake watch in the next 72 hours. And as this pressure comes, the proton levels density is at 11.2. That's a lot of pressure. So let me just say to you, um, when the solar wind streams expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field, the wind is flowing from this canyon-shaped hole in the coronal, it's called the coronal hole of the sun's atmosphere. It's huge, and it's an extreme that allows extreme ultraviolet image uh, rays to come through, also, uh, or, or gamma rays, okay, radiation, all of it uh, inundating the Earth. Now, the Earth's magnetic sphere, magnetosphere is supposed to help protect us, but it's weakened. It's been weakened, and as long as CERN keeps running wide open, it will continue to weaken. So this just adds to the pressure, because if you don't have any way to... First of all, if the sun has this gaping hole in its atmosphere, that means these solar winds are just racing right through. Nothing's slowing them down there. Then when they get to the Earth, if the Earth's magnetosphere is, is, is weak then there's nothing slowing it down much here. Some, but not enough. So when we get hit with these extreme winds from off the sun, these CMEs, these solar winds, can bring about pressure building, heating the inner core of the earth, and the pressure begins to cause the tectonic plates to slip and to give. And that you, you can, you're, and already, Yellowstone National Park, Earthquakes, earthquakes. Every day there's a quake or two over 2.5 right at that super volcano. We, and, we, and don't forget Cascadia because did you notice something? On August 21st, when that total solar eclipse, the great American eclipse comes through the country, do you realize that it's going to start at about Cascadia fault line? And, and as it goes across the country, Yellowstone National Park, and and the New Madrid fault line all will feel will all come under this this darkness this this change in uh, the the pressures that build. I mean, there's just gonna. I'm just a little nervous about it, to be quite honest with you. And what's really wild is just as the total solar eclipse begins at the exact time that it begins up there near the coast of Oregon, right around Cascadia, it will be the exact moment that the sun sets in Jerusalem, meaning darkness will come over Jerusalem the same time it comes over America. And that, folks, we haven't had happen. I don't know if we have in history. Surely we have, but I'm not sure that both of those happen simultaneously. I'll look into that, but I do know that's going to happen on this one. Just saying. So anyway, there's a lot going on. Keep an eye on these solar winds. They're raging. They are literally raging, okay? So uh, I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Don't forget today, my guest, Pastor Mark Biltz. Pastor Mark Biltz, an expert on this total solar eclipse, the great American eclipse. He is a biblical scholar. He's the man that brought forth the original four blood moon uh, prophecy. And he's all over this one. Uh, He and I have been uh, mentioned in several articles here recently about this total solar eclipse. The apocalypse is upon us. Is it a warning of God? Is it the judgment of God for America? 
and Revelation 12. How does it all tie in according to the Bible and the feast of the Lord? We'll talk about it. Don't miss today's show, 12 noon Eastern, 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. We'll be live right here at YouTube as well.